السلام علیکم ناظرین سیر حاصل گفتگو این ایل پی نیرو لنگویسٹک پروگرامنگ اور مائنڈ سائنسز کے حوالے سے مسز عالیہ محی الدین صاحبہ کے ساتھ ہماری جاری ہے میم تھوڑا سا یہ بتائیے کہ ہم نے ابھی لائف کوچنگ کی بات کی اور کس طرح ہم پازیٹیو رہ سکتے ہیں اس کے حوالے سے بات کی تو اگر ہم یہ جاننا چاہیں کہ واٹ از دا ڈفرینس بٹوین کانشیس مائنڈ اینڈ سب کانشیس مائنڈ تو وہ ہماری جو لاسٹ والا ہمارا سیشن ہے اس کے ساتھ یہ والی چیز کنیکٹ ہو سکتی ہے گریٹ کوشچن تو ان این ایل پی وی لوکنگ سب کانشیس مائنڈ اینڈ دا وے وی ڈسکرائب دا کانشیس اینڈ سب کانشیس مائنڈ از لائک این آئس برگ اوکے رائٹ اینڈ دا ٹپ آف دی آئس برگ از اے کانشیس مائنڈ اوکے اوکے اٹس لٹرلی فائیو ٹو ٹین پرسینٹ آف آف آر فنکشننگ اوکے دا روٹ آف دی آئس برگ از آر سب کانشیس مائنڈ اوکے اینڈ آر سب کانشیس مائنڈ is where everything happens. It's 90 to 95% of our mind, of okay, our functioning. Okay. All our deep beliefs, our values, mm. our unconscious programs, yes. our running of the body, everything okay. is in our subconscious mind. Okay. We have a saying in NLP, that the conscious mind is the goal setter. Okay. And the subconscious mind is a goal getter. Mm. All change, mm -hmm. all behavior, happens at a subconscious level, right, right, right? right? And the subconscious mind is listening always to what the conscious mind is saying. So with our thoughts mm. and also jump mm. right? Good. And that's why that's the linguistic side. We have to be very aware mm. of how we are languaging ourselves. Yeah, yeah, right. Now here's the thing, the con subconscious mind and the conscious mind together, they work like a GPS machine. Right? You go to the car, when I was in the car, I had GPS, tha, Google Maps, okay, location pin, hai, mm. This distance, right? Yeah. Take this route. Yeah. Quickest yeah. route. Yeah. Right? That's what we took, got here. Mm. The conscious subconscious mind works in the same way. Right. Whatever right. we think and say, mm. Mm. the subconscious mind finds that as a location pin. And okay. then finds the shortest okay. distance from where you are mm. to it. The coffee dafa hota hai ke you know, where we're struggling with something. And then we wake up the next day. Mm. Or آگے It does not understand the word don't. It, do, it just removes don't. Okay. Now, it's may, there's a lot of detail as to what and yeah. shayad is uh, time here and it described mm -hmm. karne ke liye. Mm -hmm. So, um, the, so, just mene pehle bhi kaha tha aap se, that the conversation around to get over stress mm -hmm. is very different mm -hmm. to, the communica to the conversation around being, uh, being confident or happy. Okay. Different destinations, Cheek different hai. pin locations. Cheek hai. مثال کے طور پہ میں آپ سے ابھی کہوں گی آپ بالکل بھی نہیں جو کچھ بھی ہو آپ بالکل بھی نہیں ڈو ناٹ تھنک آف اے بلو ایلیفنٹ ڈو ناٹ تھنک آف اے بلو ایلیفنٹ آئی ایم اسٹارٹنگ ٹو تھنک اباؤٹ دی بلو ایلیفنٹ یو ہیو ٹو تھنک اباؤٹ دا بلو ایلیفنٹ آئی ہیو ٹو تھنک اباؤٹ اٹ ٹو دین ٹرائی ناٹ ٹو تھنک اباؤٹ اٹ رائٹ اینڈ سو دا لینگویج پار دس از اے لنگویسٹکس ہاؤ وی لینگویج تھنگس از امپورٹنٹ اینڈ دس In coaching, it's mm. like we're outcome, we say we're an outcome driven approach. We're a goal oriented approach mm. because mm. that's giving the subconscious mind different coordinates. Right, right. So, uh, if I ask you, IQ versus EQ versus SQ. So, in your opinion, what is the difference between them? Or what is the link between them? So, what is the difference between them? IQ being intelligence quotient, yeah. EQ being emotional, emotional quotient, and SQ being spiritual quotient. Out of all of them, mm. they all have some, some, uh, some value. Out of all of them, mm. probably IQ is of the least value. Okay. Now, when people, you have heard a growth mindset and mm -hmm. fixed mindset, ka suna hoga, G right? G IQ mm. is a very fixed mindset. concept okay. EQ emotional quotient mm. is of higher value in mm. fact studies have shown mm -hmm. the, 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 
researchers looked at um, people who are successful. Right? Okay. The children who left school, did really well, got really high grades, went to university, got really high grades. Mm. How successful were they in life? Mm -hmm. And they found that IQ mm. and the success in, in, in school and mm. your grades mm. wasn't the key indicator of success in life. Okay. Okay. The key indicator mm. for success in life mm. is the level of grit mm. that people have. And mm. grit is something that you get from Very resilience, important. perseverance, mm. which is all part of EQ. Mm. How are we showing up? Are you neglected? <laughs> well, thora sa shy. Well, I think globally, to sub, uh, you know, they're, 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 value, they're sort of different levels everywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. But EQ mm. is a much higher indicator of potential success in life mm. Mm. than IQ. Mm. Now, spiritual quotient is another thing that is big. In NLP, we talk about the wholeness of a human being. Okay. And bad log ke hain ki you know we we have we're having a spiritual experience or mm. you're, you know we 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 we're doing spiritual stuff, you okay. know, we're human beings are doing spiritual stuff. Mm. Really in truth, we are mm. spiritual beings mm. having a mm. human experience. Yeah, right. Our soul existed before us and is going to carry on beyond us. Yes, yes. The physical being Yes, right? Yes. And so, just my pehle bhi keh rahi it's we're here for a higher purpose. Yes. We are yes. here for our soul to grow. Mm. And in multiple ways. And our challenges mm. are actually opportunities for growth. Yes. Kyunki jab sab kuch theek hai, sab kuch easy hai, mm. hum, hum sail kar rahe hain, we're, we're cruising, mm. we're not growing. Acha mm. hai, but we're not growing. Right. Our challenges mm. Are, are moments when we have to dig deeper mm. and we find the resources within us. Mm -hmm. And so the spiritual quotient is the sense of what we call the higher purpose, mm. that higher um, our, our mission in life. Mm. That And many people have lost it. And we're seeking it in different ways. We're living through a phase in the world at the moment where people are searching for meaning. Mm. And when we're searching for meaning, that's us trying to connect into our spiritual uh, side of us. Yeah, right. And when we, the, the ones of us who are able to sort of explore that space mm -hmm. and we connect into our higher purpose, into our sort of spiritual awakening, into our spiritual identity and spiritual quotient, right. we are able to create flow mm -hmm. in our lives. Because mm -hmm. then the actions we take, what mm -hmm. we choose to do, how mm -hmm. we show up mm -hmm. is much more aligned to ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, so the mind sciences mm -hmm. and spirituality, mm -hmm. Are they mutually exclusive or not? I think they're very much hmm. enmeshed. Okay. Right? They don't, they, you can have, you can go down the spiritual path in the certain practices, yes, hmm. and the mind sciences and practices, yes. Hmm. But really to create that flow, hmm. they're enmeshed. Okay. Because we are both, hmm. we are mind and we are spirit. Hmm. <laughs> There's a, a, one of the sort of key innovators and one of the sort of key people in NLP, his name is Robert Diltz. Okay. And he talks about the ego and the spirit. Fine. And the thing is, if we are only run by ego, mm. then we are just chasing whatever we're chasing, mm -hmm. right? We right. have no right. meaning. We're, right. just, we're just chasing stuff. Right. If we're only run by spirit, mm. we're not doing anything. Mm. Mm. We're not doing anything. So there is a balance. And so if we are, if we are, if we connect ego and spirit, mm. then we have a higher purpose, we have our flow, and then we're taking action because our ego, yes. which is mind sciences, mm. etc., which is a fire and the energy, mm. gives us the ability to take action. Mm. So I don't actually believe that the two are separate. I think we're, they're, they're different facets of our personality. And mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and there's a counter example to it too, for sure. In terms of people who have become more and more successful on the on the back of their own hard work, okay, right? Okay. On the back of their mm. own hard work, mm -hmm. have also become more spiritual. Right, right. So, so there is this mm -hmm. sense of gratitude that comes in. There's this sense of higher powers that come in. There's this sense that there are a lot of these senses that come in where you're in flow and you're, you're, you're connecting to your higher purpose mm -hmm. that comes in. Mm -hmm. When you invest in yourself mm -hmm. and you 
do what you need to do. Mm -hmm. So what is the brief introduction of mind sciences? How people uh, can understand that? The mind sciences are from my understanding of that, because it's, this is an expression that's used in multiple ways, mm. all right? Mm. So there are multiple sort of answers to it. Okay. Um, the mind sciences are how do we use our brain for change? Mm. How do we use our brain mm. um, for creating the outcomes we want, for mm. example, mm -hmm. right? Mm. Um, so, a lot, uh, yeah, so I mean, to me, that's what I understand of mind sciences. Mm -hmm. okay. NLP is a mind science. It's, it looks okay. at how we are, so, uh, NLP, so therapy, for example, psychotherapy, mm. looks at why. Mm. Kya soch rahe, or kya ho rahe, or why. Mm. Mm. NLP, mm. which is essentially the science of the mind, mm. looks at how and context. Mm. Mm. How you are creating this thinking process, okay. what's behind it, okay. and how can you change it to something that's more, uh, that's going to take you and serve you in a better way. Okay. So, uh, Psychotherapy, hypnotherapy, or hypnosis. Hmm. Ki, uh, agar aap brief iska introduction uh, de So hmm. psychotherapy to is uh, there, there are multiple facets of psychotherapy, right? right? Um, so I mean that is most people are familiar with psychotherapy, and that's right, you right. know talking about you go to a psychotherapist, you talk about your problems, hmm. and and there's a lot of there's a lot of co mingling of psychotherapy, and a lot of them do NLP okay. to bring those techniques right. in. When we hypnosis or hypnotherapy, therapy ke mein baat karte hai, basically mm -hmm. hypnotherapy is using hypnosis for therapy. Right. right? There is, so Milton Erickson, Dr. Milton Erickson was, this, was the grand master of mm -hmm. hypnosis. He was, mm -hmm. a psycho, he was actually a psychiatrist himself. Okay. So in the uh, early to mid, uh, mid late uh, 20th century. Okay. He died, I think, um, forget exactly when he died, maybe in the 70s or 80s, 80s, I think. Um, so he was a grandmaster and he brought hypnosis into the um, medical field, okay. into sort of a known, uh, respected form of therapy. Okay. Um, hypnosis is, I think, it uh, originates from the Latin concept of single, uh, a single idea. Okay. Right? Hyp the basis of hypnosis is trance. Right. Or hum trance may we everybody goes into trance in mm. some form or another mm. all the time. Mm -hmm. All the time. So for example, jab aap daydream mein uh, aap apni uh, uh, socho mein uh, gum gaye hain, right? Yeah. You're, you're daydreaming about something, mm -hmm. right? Mm. You're in trance. When you're watching TV and the rest of the world zooms out, mm. you're in trance. You can often see young children, they're just transfixed and the whole world is zoomed out. There's right. nothing is going in. They're not even hearing you. Right. That's trance. Yeah. Right. We have different levels of trance as well. Uh -huh. Now the thing with trance is, mm. agar ab now soche of, of the conscious subconscious mind, mm. between the conscious and subconscious mind, there mm. is a critical faculty we call it. It's like a gateway. Okay. Okay. It's like a gateway between the conscious and subconscious. Right. When we go into trance. Yeah the critical faculty opens. That gate opens. opens. Right. And then the suggestions that go into the mind, into the subconscious, mm -hmm. go in mm. unchallenged. Okay. Right? right. So, say for example, mm. ek bacha, to, 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 uh, another form of trance is, you know that moment just before you wake up, mm. and that moment just before you fall asleep. Yes. That's a trance state. Yeah, right? Yeah, right. And in those moments, and some in some sort of um, parenting uh, techniques, they say that in that moment when they're falling asleep, you know, and you say stuff to them that's positive, it mm -hmm. goes into their mind. And mm -hmm. so a lot of like, you know, hypno hypnotic um, CDs, for example, recordings, they have when you go to sleep because it's, you're in that calm state mm -hmm. and the, those suggestions mm -hmm. go in uncritically. Mm -hmm. So... Um, so that's essentially what hypnosis is. Mm -hmm. It's this sense of that, that critical faculty opening mm -hmm. and then um, going into a deep relax, relaxed state. Okay. And then we have different levels of trance, okay. right? Um, How many got, are they? They're, well, technically four, but okay. so there's the, the, there's the, the beta, which mm -hmm. is we're in beta, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah, we're right. very alert and we're talking, right. we're very beta. Right, right. Then there's the alpha. Okay. And the alpha is a much calmer one. Mm. Right? It's when we relax, mm. right? when we let go, 
We, when we're in a daydream, we're in, we're in alpha. Mm. When we are uh, watching TV and we're just relaxed, mm. we're in alpha. Or sometimes when we're listening to calming music and we get lost in it, we're in alpha. Okay. Right? We're still aware, mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. but we're in alpha. Mm. Right? Then there's theta, which is deeper. So mm. we're going into a deeper state. And then there's the delta. And the mm. delta is when we are, it's got the somnambulism, right? So when we are yes. um, sleepwalking, Yes, yes. And uh, uh, sleep talking mm. and all of that. That's kind of when with that very, very deep state, mm -hmm. um, that's, that, that's the delta. So essentially, we in hypnosis, we talk about these four states. Okay. I'm going to say you know, a lot of people are very suspicious of hypnosis. Ke, yes. kya hoga? You know, you, you control of my mind yes, 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 and yeah, of course, of um, I'll do, you'll make me do something that yes. I know you'll make me kill somebody or yeah. you'll, you'll, you'll make me empty my bank account. Mm. Pata kya, right? Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. kisi aur ne mind pe control kar liya. Mm -hmm. That's what a lot of people fear about yes. hypnosis. Here's the thing. Mm. Nobody can control your mind without your permission. Ever. Okay. Ever. Okay, okay. And even if you go into a state of hypnosis mm. with, a, with a trained therapist, mm -hmm. if there's any suggestion mm. that co conflicts or conflicts with your values, mm. the subconscious mind will, the, the conscious mind will just jerk in, that mm. critical fac faculty will close and you'll be awake. Okay. If there's any value that mm. is compromised or mm. challenged, mm you'll be out of trance. The, the, it'll just like, boom, you won't accept mm. it. Because the, subcon the primary purpose of the subconscious mind mm. is to keep us safe and alive. Okay. That's... And so if there's anything that, and so any kind of threat mm. is like the subconscious mind immediately goes to the system, the body, mm -hmm. the person mm -hmm. is at risk. Mm -hmm. And the fear, all basis of fear and risk and threat is death, right? At a deep unconscious. Yes. And so they're like, boom, you're out. Fascinating. So, yeah, so when people do hypnosis, mm. it's no one can make you, will never, you can, no one can make you accept a suggestion you're not willing to accept in the first place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If there's any conflict or okay. sense of threat or anything. All right. This is decision making. So, our mind is our brain. This process and mechanism what is the decision making ke hawale se most logon ke liye to koi bhi process nahi hai okay magar main um, i'll share with you the success principles of hmm. decision making hmm. and outcomes okay okay so in nlp we call them the success principles okay all right and the success principle states Again, remember, we're, we're, NLP is, has been modeled on people who are successful and how do they create success. Yes, yes. And failure is also a strategy, yes, right? So right. success is a strategy, so is failure. Mm. So first of all, number one, know your outcome. Why are you doing this? Okay. What is the purpose of this conversation? What's mm. the purpose of this action? What, what is it that I want, mm. right? Just mm. as I said earlier, that the subconscious mind is a goal getter, mm. right? Mm. And it's listening. Yeah. So if you don't give clear direction, mm. you will go somewhere else. Okay. Or if you end up where you want to end up, it's mm. much harder. Mm. It's much harder work, mm -hmm. right? But if you, so number one is know your outcome. Mm. Number two mm. is take action. Mm. The difference between a goal mm. and the difference between a dream and a desire mm. is action. Okay. Bohut log action nahi lete, mm. right? The next one is Number three is have sensory acuity, which means have the observational skills, Gee. be observant to mm. recognizing what's working, what's not working. Is it taking you to your outcome? Mm. If it is, good. If it's not, then number four is you have behavioral flexibility. Okay. And behavioral flexibility means you are committed to your outcome mm. and you change your actions accordingly. Mm -hmm. Right. And then finally, is you come from a physiology and psychology of excellence, mm. which means that you come from a resourceful state. If you mm. approach karenge, um, in a negative state, in a victim state, in an aggressive state, you're much, it'll be much harder to achieve your outcome. Okay. Right? Right. So decision making is transformed when people have clarity of thought of what they want. Mm. We have these two concepts. You can either be um, outcome thinking, mm. Outcome focused okay. and outcome oriented, okay. which means you're always thinking in outcomes. 
Right. Right. What's the purpose of this? Why do I want to have this conversation? What's what do I want to achieve out of it? Mm. Blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Right. And then on the other hand, you have problem thinking. Right. And people just think in problems mm -hmm. and how to get away from them. And Jesse Menikai, the subconscious mind doesn't recognize a negative. Mm -hmm. So Javam Kering, if we want to get away from a problem, we end up creating more and more of the problem because mm. that's where the mind is going constantly. Mm -hmm. So the decision making process is up kaise soch rahe? Hmm. Are you thinking in problem terms hmm. or are you thinking in outcomes? Right. I have a lot of work within the corporate sector, within top leadership. Yeah. And uh, one of the things that I say to them is, your problems hmm. are opportunities for growth and innovation. Okay. And I also say to people, that if you have a challenge, hai, aap don't deal with that challenge. Aap wo challenge use as a clue or a stepping stone to hmm. what do you want instead. Hmm. You है. have a problem, but what do you want? आपने अभी बात की थी in terms of पूछा था in terms of relationship coaching and we'll go to that in a minute. But you have an unhappy relationship. There's no point trying to fix your unhappiness. What do you want? Hmm. I want to have a happy relationship. Yes. And then that conversation and the decision making shifts. ठीक hmm. hmm. है. Does that help? Right. और राइट खातिन हजरात हमारा बहुत ही वंडरफुल सेशन जो है वो जारी है इंतहाई अहम मालूम आलिया मोहिद्दीन साहिबा हमारे साथ शेयर कर रही हैं आपसे मुलाकात होती है एक छोटे से ब्रेक के बाद हमारे साथ रहिएगा